People from the Museum of Natural History knew that at one point in time, Great Gull Island was the site of a major tern colony, but the terns were in decline. When I came to the museum, a lady in education called me one day and asked me if I'd like to go to Gull Island. And I thought it looked like a terrific place to try and increase the numbers of terns. It would mean we'd need a team to, to work. Well, you got a load here now. We get some work done, huh? <laughs> we have a lot of people. You're right. There's two species of terns that nest on this island. Common terns, and then also Lozia terns, which are federally listed as endangered. We got quite a few people interested, and once we had enough, we could stay on the island all summer. And so by 69, we had enough people to do that, and that's when we started it the way we do it now. I knew it was going to be more than one summer. I didn't think it would be 50 summers. <laughs> that, that's a surprise.